Welcome to Brum Brum. In this lesson I'm learning to solve problems in which a fraction measures another fraction. Let's imagine that there's a hovercraft that travels between the North Island and the South Island. And that hovercraft has got a full tank of gas and it uses up two ninths of a tank for every crossing. I want to work out how many crossings it can make. Now I can record that like this. Uh, one full tank of gas shared between trips that use up two ninths of a tank. And I'm working out how many trips he can make. Now over here I've got some materials to help me. This rod here represents one full tank of gas. And below is that same tank of gas split into ninths. Well we know that each trip uses up two ninths of a tank so those two ninths mean he could do one trip. These two, two ninths mean he could do two trips. These two ninths mean he could do three trips. And these two ninths mean he could do four trips. Now you can see we're left at the end here with one ninth. If we had another one ninth, he'd be able to do uh, another full trip. But he's got half as much of what he needs. So we can record the answer to this problem by saying he can do four whole trips and half a trip. Now there's another little trick for solving division problems. Um, let's just write out that division question again. We've got one divided by two ninths. Now I can actually change this question into a multiplication question. I'll just go back over here a sec. We know that one whole is the same as one over one. So now both parts over here have got a numerator and a denominator. Now what I do to change it into a multiplication question is I write it out pretty much the same way, except this time, this time I times by something called the reciprocal, which is basically this amount switched upside down. So I put well, the 9 which was a denominator becomes the numerator and the 2 which was a numerator becomes the denominator. 1 times 9 is 9 and 1 times 2 is 2. And we know that 9 halves is the same as 4.5. So we got the same answer that we got when we used materials. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I've got a jet boat, which has got two thirds of its tank fill, and every trip that it, uh, tourist trip that it does, uses up one fifth of the tank. I want to work out how many trips it can do. Well, I can record that like this. We've got two, let's move down a little bit, two thirds of a tank, which gets shared between trips using up one fifth of the tank. So I want to work out how many trips can this jet boat do. Up here you can see I've represented that with materials. This line up here shows me that tank split into thirds and you can see I've shaded two thirds because that's how much petrol this jet boat starts the trip with or has at the moment. And I've got that same tank this time split into fifths because we know that every trip uses up one fifth of the tank. So looking at these pictures you can see here we can do one trip, two trips, three trips, but you can see if we do four trips, we won't have enough petrol. So we can know, we know that he can do three whole trips. So I'll write that down here, three whole trips, and then there's going to be a fraction of a trip that he could do. Now you can see that I could split this last fifth into thirds. So now you can see that I could do three whole trips and one third of a trip. If I had two more thirds I'd be able to do another whole trip. So we'll record that three and one third. Now just like last time I can uh, solve this question by changing it into a multiplication question as well. I'll write my two thirds and remember to change it into a multiplication question I change the 
divided by to a multiplication and I times it by the reciprocal, which is basically this number turned upside down. So here the denominator was 5, but it's going to be the numerator here, and here the denominator was 1, sorry, the numerator was 1, but it's going to be the denominator in this question. 2 times 5 equals 10, and multiplying my denominators together, 3 times 1 is 3. And we know that 10 thirds is the same as 3 holes and 1 third. So we got the same answer. Now let's just try one more question uh, without any materials. Let's imagine a truck driver drives between Christchurch and Nelson and starts the week with 3 quarters of his petrol tank full. And Every trip he does uses up three eighths of a tank. So I can record that like this. This is his petrol tank, which is three quarters full, and it needs to be shared between trips which use up three eighths of the tank. So I want to work out how many trips can he do. Let's change this question into a multiplication question. So I've got three quarters, and I'm going to change this divided by sign into a multiplication sign. And remember, when I do that, I have to swap this uh, fraction around so that the denominator becomes the top, and the numerator becomes the bottom bit, or the denominator in this one. So we can say we're actually multiplying by the reciprocal of that, fa that fraction over there. Right, I multiply my numerators together, 3 times 8 is 24, and I'm going to multiply my denominators together, 4 times 3 is 12, and I know that 24 over 12 is the same as 2 whole trips. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.